Well, hello, everybody. It's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. Well, I don't normally record daily devotionals in the car, but as I have been saying in recent times, I'm traveling and going to different places and uh, uh, sharing faith with people. But to be honest, God has wanted to show me his favor. God has blessed me tremendously with the people that I've met. Now, in the last couple of days, we've talked about favor. And favor is not being God's favorite, but that God extends his hand of delight toward us. God blesses us and God wants us to know he's blessing us. And and none of us would exist if it was not because of God's favor towards us. And that favor can take very practical uh, applications in our life. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, and last night I met with a group of people, and it was such an inspiring time for me personally. I think many of them, uh, oh, I don't think any of them would describe themselves as holy, but I would. They were good people, people that were seeking after God, people who were doing doing life in the ordinary things of life. A number of them whispered in my ear about some of the struggles that they're dealing with, like so many of us do. Uh, And it was just so inspiring to me that I'm leaving Atlanta and I'm thinking to myself how amazing it was to meet these people who told me stories about how they connected with the ministry. And uh, their faith, their faith will travel with me in my heart and in my mind. St. Paul writes to the Romans in chapter 1, verse 8, and he says this, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you because your faith is proclaimed throughout the world. Again, first I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you because your faith is proclaimed throughout the world. Highlight those words, because your faith is proclaimed. It's not faith is proclaimed, but your faith is proclaimed your belief, your commitment to me. See, see, there's something that's really fascinating is that when faith is, when faith is on display, when we see the face of others, it does something to other people. And I, I genuinely leave here not trying to be nice with, to people, but genuine, genuinely touched by people because their faith inspired me. Um, and, so, and so faith, uh, faith on display causes other people's faith to be inspired. We've all been, we've all heard uh, inspirational speakers at time, or we've seen something inspirational. And what does it do? It breathes life into us. And in, and in many cases, it wants, it wants us to go and say, say, well, I could do the same. I could, I could achieve the same. I could be more in my circumstances where I am. So faith on display always, always inspires. But faith on display also causes other people's faith to be increased, to be increased. Uh, Because we look at other people and we go, you know, look at what God has done in them. My faith can be increased by them. When we hear stories about what people are doing, how they're living, the circumstances they're living in, and they're living it with God, you stop and you think to yourself, man, uh, that just builds my faith as I hear the stories of what God is doing in people's life. Um, The other thing too is uh, faith on display causes other other people to be inoculated against negativity. You know, an inoculation is it's, it's it's an injection that we get to stop us getting certain diseases to be inoculated. And, and when we see the faith of people that inspires us, it inoculates us against the negativity and the hardship and the despair that can happen. St. Paul is writing to the Romans and he says, uh, and he's saying, you live in a place in a, in a, where you're being persecuted and yet your faith is being talked about all over the world because of the way you're living your life. And I want to say to you, as I've been talking about what an impactor is, a person who impacts someone else, is that as you live your faith in your everyday life, not making a big show of it, but just live your faith what you are is you're inspiring. What you are is you're in helping other people increase. And what you are is inoculating people against negativity. Paul, when he writes to the Ephesians, he says this. He says in chapter, chapter 1, verse 15, I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love towards all the saints. And for this reason, 
I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. Paul is saying, I've heard of what you're doing and it, I give thanks to God for you and for your life that you're living. Uh, I've been so in inspired by the events that we've been holding as people have flown in from different states to be at these events. And uh, this is something that's happened lots of times in the past. You meet people who fly in from different places to be for a day there with and, and come to see me. But to be honest with you, I'm always far more blessed. If I can say just in particular, and I know the, the whole world is listening, but this is just to the people in Florida who were going to fly up for the Atlanta event who the hurricane couldn't, uh, couldn't attend. Uh, I, I will come to uh, Florida at some point. And I look forward to meeting you at that point in time. Um, but what, what it really said to me is watching people come from, sh uh, from close and from very far to some of these events. Look at your faith. Look at the way you're seeking after God. Um, and I want to say to you, if you want to be inspired, you want to have your faith increased, if you want to walk daily with God in a stronger way, then, then one of the things that I've learned is it's so important to get into the slipstream of other Christians. Here, here in America, uh, you look to the skies as the, in all over the world, there are migratory birds and they fly in certain patterns and certain arrangements and they fly behind each other. And scientists tell us that the way they fly like that because it uh, elevates them and makes it easier for them to fly. And sometimes what we have to do is get in the slipstream of Christian people around us and even people at distance that inspire us, that cause us to be more than we can be. And so when I meet some of these very holy people who none of would describe themselves as holy, um, you know, what, what I, I, I am just uplifted because they have had an effect on me. And so I want to say to you, as you walk daily with God, as you pray, as you live out your faith, know that other people are affected by you exactly in the place where you are. So uh, I'm just so excited to be able to uh, meet people, to talk with people. And uh, I, I just feel, I feel so humbled for what people are doing and how they're touching my life. Um, I think I just banged the microphone right then, which the office means they're going to call me and they're going to say to me, don't hit the microphone. I'm just telling you in advance office, I already know that I did. But, you know, it, it, is, um, it, it is so inspiring to be uh, with you and let me pray for you loving father I want to thank you for all the people that I've met I want to thank you Lord God that you love me and Lord God I pray that I would experience and know your love more deeply because of the people I meet but I pray that all the people we meet everyone would say look at the faith of others it encourages me it inspires me it increases my faith and it inoculates me against negativity and Father, we make this prayer in the name of Jesus, through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And don't forget, wherever you are, God is never far from you.